Four American citizens waking up to this jaw-dropping view this morning after shooting 363 miles into space. The brave crew now settling into orbit until Saturday with no professional astronauts on board, the first civilians to travel this far from Earth. I'm just a regular person going to space. SpaceX's inspiration for making history as it blast off Wednesday night, crowds cheering from Titusville, Florida to the Kennedy Space Center. There they are, our first all civilian crew. 14 minutes into the flight, hitting zero gravity. This stuffed golden retriever seen floating in the Dragon capsule. Now this is significant and historic because it's going to be the highest that any humans have gone into orbit since the, the Hubble servicing mission. 38-year-old billionaire Jared Isaacman bought all four seats on board for $200 million, giving three of them away as a fundraiser for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. One of the lucky winners, 29-year-old Haley Arsenault, a physician's assistant at St. Jude, wants a patient there. She's now the first pediatric cancer survivor and the youngest American to go to space. I think we have a lot of future astronauts at St. Jude now. This flight does come with some risks. A computer does the flying, and if there are any issues, there is no way to get to the International Space Station, but they can return to Earth with the push of a button. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.